And I am roll I am rolling whenever you here. Um, it's going to be, it's, um, and it's uh, one of the things I'm asking for um, us to do instead of affirmative consent types of laws where we sort of penalize and uh, things like that that we have in California. I'm assuming you're all familiar with the affirmative consent law here in California that requires a yes um, to, uh, in order to have consent and because it's, if you don't get a yes in writing, it's a he said, she said type of thing. So in essence, yes, right? well, it doesn't say you need to have it in writing. But if you go to court oh, and you say, oh, well, she said this and he says, you know, that, it becomes a he said, she said thing. So in reality, if you really want to be protected, you better get it in writing. Um, uh -huh. So, so, so texting? Was that? Texting works. Texting probably <laughs> would work, yes. Um, <laughs> but it's just, uh, you know, it's, I don't need to tell this group how amazingly Neander amazingly Neanderthal and unrealistic in relation to the complexities of sexuality. And you know, sexuality evolves, has evolved over millions, probably billions of years. And um, if I were to, um, if, if you and I were talking with each other and suddenly I were to go like this to you, I just changed my look at you very slightly. Suddenly you would know that I was coming on to you. Um, <laughs> but I, in court, um, him saying that the look of the speaker changed slightly to me, and I knew that he was coming on to me. Um, and the, the, you know, the judge would ask for the evidence for that. And the evidence of he changed his look at me uh, would not very well stand, stand up in court. The point being that a court is very good in areas that are binary. You are, in, you are guilty or you're innocent. There is nothing less binary than the evolution of sexuality. Um, the, you know, the, the very subtle um, you know, set of looks, those things like that, that just that, that indicate things that allow us to be safe or allow us to, have a, to, to develop areas of potential to enter into um, that, are, that are cues. Those are things if, um, if we're in an um, elevator, and, um, and let's say uh, Sadie and I are in an elevator, and then Sadie reaches out, and um, we're both in suits, and she picks up a little, little bit of lint off of my um, uh, off of oh, my suit yes. uh -huh. that signals to me possibly interested. Uh, Cosmopolitan had articles about how women can um, uh, express interest to men. Yeah, and one, yeah, yeah, you probably. <laughs> and and, Cos and one of the things was to you know pick up a little bit of lint off of somebody's suit that, that you're interested in stand up in court as an expression of interest? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It would stand up in court as an egomaniac trying to make, make believe he was, um, that the woman was expressing interest when the, the only thing she was doing was picking him up and a lid off uh, of, of the suit. So the, um, so the in, in schools I feel that, that rather than having things like affirmative action trying to solve problems that are so much more subtle than the law courts are set up to, to, um, to, to to, to do, um, what we really need to do is have men and women walk a mile in each other's moccasins, uh, emotionally experience what the other sex goes through. Um, I don't, because the group is small here and the ratio I was told was gonna be as, as, um, uh, as uneven as it is, I wasn't, I'm not gonna be able to do today the men's beauty contest and the role reversal date that I normally do. But I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a, tick, uh, uh, a tip of the iceberg of that just to give you a little sense of that. When I do the men's beauty contest in the role reversal date, what I say is that every woman is in a beauty contest every day of her life. From the moment she's born until the moment she dies, she may be invisible in that beauty contest, she may be ignored and neglected, but she's in that beauty contest every day of her life. So I ask, um, and conversely, every man is in a different type of contest every day of his life, performance contest, but we'll get to that in a little while. So I ask, if, if every woman is in a beauty contest uh, every day of her life, I ask all the guys to just sort of, um, to enter into the beauty contest of everyday life to walk a mile in women's moccasins. So in this case, I'll just ask uh, the three guys that are here just to stand up here um, and, to, um, and to take off jackets or outer, outer shirts. And ask you all just to stand up here uh, for a moment. Come on. So that's, uh, Come on. Come on. Show us 
the skin. I refuse to be the me. I'll give you ten million dollars. <laughs> Canadian, right? Exchange. For the right price, you might. Um, so I'll ask you to uh, look over uh, each of these guys, and remember that as you're looking over guys and making comments about about them, they um, they are they are in a world which is not focused on male bodies. So it doesn't have the same impact. A saying to a guy, he's a loser, will never really amount to anything. That's the equivalent of uh, saying to a woman uh, that you know, she, she's not very attractive or something along those lines. So I'm going to just, because I'm not doing the full beauty contest, I'm just going to do a very mild version of this. So I'm just going to add to be very happy. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you just to take a quarter turn to the right, just so that you can get a sense of here. And then another quarter turn to the right. <laughs> These are guys, you know. I said <laughs> another quarter turn to the right. And then another quarter turn to the right. Yes. So I'm now going to ask the women to come up and to um, ask one of these two guys out for a moment. Or it could be a third guy, too, if you can. Um, See if you if you're very sharp, you might be able to get through the resistance there, and, so, <laughs> and, and, and able to ask um, one of these three guys um, quote out. But it's just going to be a very simple experience that we're going to do, uh, where, I'm, where I'm going to be asking the I'm going to be asking just so you know what you're going to do. I'm going to be asking the women to stand in the chairs and to and to create a little bit of music and to dance with the guys. Oh, um, what's that? <laughs> Just <don't play> <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you to do it in a traditional position, but it, it's an experience that even though it's extremely simple, leaves an impact. Um, so I'm going to be asking, first of all, for all of the women to come up in the front row so you have equal opportunity to have uh, these, uh, these guys. Is it first of all? Are we men? You're women. Very good question. So, standing up front here. All the women. Yes, all the women. Sure, throw me in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask you now to so so here we we are with a large number. Yes, I will get you back. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> are you part of this exercise? Are you being asked out? Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Possibility of including John and convincing him that it won't that it will be a good experience. Um, and so that's Please just go. what's that? Please go. Well, all right, so he's saying yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so come back for, for, no, a, for, for a moment. I, uh, <laughs> the, so I'm going to be asking you to sort of um, to compete with the other women here to get to the guy who's your first choice guy. Oh, and, I see. I and, get this. And then to bring, and, and he will be uh, eligible for anyone stealing um, him, either one of the, whoever you choose. So, some of you need to be here. Raymond. Raymond. And, oh. Are we oh. allowed to touch okay. them? What's that? Are we allowed to touch them? Yes. Yeah. You, oh, right, yes. you, okay, you may do anything you can get away with. You get affirmative. Oh. Consent. But, yes, but. Yes, <laughs> Okay, I need blanket consent. Is that just hand it over. Like <laughs> 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 well, hold for a sec. Uh, so um, I'm going to have you all. S no, nobody start until I give a, a go. But when you go, um, I'm going to ask you in your mind's eye right now to choose the guy that you're most attracted to. Uh, even though Jean says don't don't um, approach him, you may have the guts to overcome that and see if you can <laughs> no, turn actually, that. I'm not consenting. So no, I'm, yes. I'm not okay, so um, unless you, so, so many times a woman will suggest that, and many, many guys will try to take that as a challenge. Other times, women pay attention to that. So you all decide what you want to do, and John will decide what he wants to do. 
And so no, no, I'm stating a clear barrier. Yeah, okay. So no, no, I'm saying that. You're, you're vitiating what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that, no. Okay, very good. So you need to respect my barrier. I do. I, 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 I'm talking about this right now. Okay. You need to respect that. So let's uh, articulate that express. Yes, okay. We so do not, not, so, not yes, so do not approach. I will not. <laughs> do not approach. Yeah. I think you made that crystal clear. So O, is it O and Raymond? Correct. Oh, right. Um, you can approach either one of them. And as you're approaching them, if another woman is getting to them first, you figure out how to persuade him to go to do this experience with you. And treat it as if it's a metaphor for your life of being able to get your first choice guy. Treat it as if it's training to sort of get, get a sense of what a guy goes through in the process of just taking the initiation to compete with other people for something that he that he values. So this is yeah, gave up because I knew other women were going for them. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, so all right. Okay. So very very so very good. Very very good. So, 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 no. yes, okay. Okay, everything you're doing, if you're saying to yourself, I'm just gonna drop out, I'm not gonna participate in this, no way am I gonna try to do this, this, uh, you are already participating. Because that's what every guy does when he, that's the price. He learns that you have a couple of options. You can either stay home and not do anything, and then what happens in your life? Nothing. Or actually something does happen. You start getting depressed. You start noticing that other guys who are not as, as worthy as you are are getting girls that, that you would like to have. So, uh, so, you, you, start, so you start, so you, if you are considering that dropping out, you are already participating. And so I'm asking you to, to begin to learn the, the, one of the early childhood male lessons during adult, adult uh, adolescence, rather, which is if you don't make it happen, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the more you value him or one of them, the harder you'll work. So even if you're not super attracted to one of them, choose one of them that you really want and try to, just for the exercise's sake, really make an effort to go after him. The more you try, the more you will take risks that will make you feel like you're a borderline jerk. It's only when you feel like you're a jerk you'll have an empathy for men who are jerks, or coming, which comes from risk taking, which when it works, desperation. with desperation, when it works, you're a hero. But you know, a hero is basically a, a jerk who didn't mess it up along the way, or a jerk is a hero who messed it up along the way. And so your, your job is to figure out how, to, you know, how forward to be, how forward not to be. Your job is to see which women master that well, because imagine yourself living in a world where they made most of the income, and you had to figure out who mastered rejection of the world who navigated well and who didn't navigate so well. And so you're not only observing, so you're concerned with you know, how, how, much, how, how, they do, how they do life, do they, what finesse do they do it with, and choosing, choosing based on that, that or not. Now your, so your job is to get them from here to sit down on the chair. I'll be doing a, a, an exercise in the chair, is, um, but once he gets to the chair, he's home for you to have him. But until he gets to the chair, Anybody else can intervene. When you're standing back there, you're giving yourself less of an opportunity. So make believe you don't have the option, if you want to be, uh, if you want to exist in the world, to, to, to stand back there. So whatever you can do to get yourself. Okay, we got two more guys. Coming. All right. Quarter turn to the right, exactly. Quarter turn to the right. Uh, to the right. You're at the right. Yeah. We're buying for your attention. Yeah. And yeah. We're another quarter. And you can only choose one of us. No, you don't like women, though. We have to get you. We'll deal with that. No, if you were going, if you were good. Another quarter turn to the right. Yeah. Just another quarter turn to the right. Another quarter turn to the right. He's working. 
Another quarter turn to the right. Yes, everybody. Both of you. They're they're checking you out. And then one more quarter turn to the right. Now, if you are if you are gay, you can while you're while you're doing this. If you're gay. You can go and check out, ask, ask a guy. Ask. So these women's job, just for, the, for both of you, is Robert James, is that right? Yeah. And then Richie? Yeah. Tom Rotici. Tom Rotici. Oh. OK. So uh, Tom and Robert, so they're, you're, they're going to ask uh, one of you out. And Alec is going to be moving you, getting you to agree to move from here to the, to the chair there. But you, if you if uh, if if you're gay and you want, a, if you're more interested in a male than a female, you can turn to Tom. You can turn to, to him and ask him out. And so your job is to figure out who is straight, who is gay, who is responding to you. But your job, if you're straight and he's gay, is to make sure that there is that you don't get caught up in being seen as gay if you don't want to be seen as gay. And and so um, so that's your job. If if one of you is gay, you can approach another woman while she's trying to approach a guy. Your job, your experience walking a mile in the moccasins of, another, of a gay woman is in a, in a world that's heterosexually biased, is how do you break through the heterosexual bias to approach a woman who might be more heterosexual <laughs> and, and convince her that bisexuality is great so you can just, uh, and you don't have to worry. I don't my try. Yeah. <laughs> but, over, but, but unless you are really Self-identified as being gay, I'm going to ask you to try the heterosexual experience and not do. And they can only come with one of us. They can yeah, only come with one. Yes. No. Oh, no, wait. I'm very good. Like straight for this. You're, you're not straight for this. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Take one for the team. So, Poor Robert. Um, so, women, you're going to come forward, choose a guy, and no, no, no not yet. Not you're, <laughs> but, but, you're, but, but you're so. so it's um, Amy. 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 Okay, so look what Amy's doing. She is doing something really good. She's breaking the rules. She's testing the there rules. She is not, she's, she, even though I'm making the rules very clear, she is trying to figure out if there's any, if there's wiggle. any That's wiggle room. Yeah. Exactly. That's not showing us who she's going to go out. Yes, yes. It's it's good. Eye contact, so it's really hard. So it doesn't very, very good. Go so, away. one of the ways that, so, guys. <laughs> If you're if you are interested in one of the women here, one of your few resources to make eye contact because many of the women will be worrying about being rejected. Um, so <laughs> your your eye contact can soothe the possibilities of being rejected and encourage even a woman standing back here by the wall to come on forward and take a risk. So um, <laughs> okay, so women. We're going to give a signal in a moment, and if you're saying to yourself, this is really more difficult than I thought it was going to be, I'll give you one hint. It's easier to be rejected by an object than it is to be rejected by a full human being. Just say, just say to yourself, okay, it's only, it's only, it's only a game. No, because you put call them jerks as a defense mechanism to handle the rejection. You're not rejected yet. It only rejects if they reject you. Um, the, um, but, and you will be the possible, you'll be the new jerks. Because you'll be initiating, and then you may not call back the next day. Okay, so <laughs> your job now. So I was mentioning that. I was mentioning that one hint that I'll give you is to turn the guys into objects because it hurts less to be rejected by an object than it does to be rejected by a full human being. So just say to yourself, okay, it's only a game. It's only a game. It's only going to last 10, 15 minutes. I'm just going to try. I'm just going to go for it. And if I go to, oh, he's my first choice guy, let's say, and he is so overwhelmed with, with women competing for him, I'm going to go on to, uh, Raymond, I can't, I don't know, I'm sorry, but there is. Uh, I'm going to go on to, uh, to Raymond, or vice versa, you start with Raymond, you might go to, oh, just say to yourself, if one guy rejects me, I'll just go right up to the other. The only way you can go on from one to the other is to begin the objectification process. The reason you're beginning the objectification process is to be able to handle the rejection of the one versus the other. So, this sounds terrible. Does it sound terrible? Yes. And, and it is terrible. 
Um, but it's, it's, at the, it's the core of what boys learn before they even know what they're doing in order to be able to handle the rejection that is kept from you. And this, and if you're a mother of a son, this is what your son is going through um, without even being able, without having it discussed, without having it be articulated, uh, without, without having it um, worked through in the culture. So I'm going to ask you now to end up. If, if you're, <laughs> she's trying to distract and get, get us some attention. <laughs> Show the mechanical abilities. Just <laughs> um, Okay, women, I'm going to do a ready, get set, and then I'm going to do a go. When I say go, just get the one guy to sit, sit down. When he sit, sat down, that's sort of his way of committing to you for that date. Ready? Get set. What is your rash, internal rationale? So different guys do different internal rationales when they don't participate. Oh, I'm not interested. This is stupid. It's just a game. It's, you know, um, you want a jerk if he had said me. Or they start beginning to play the strategies. I'll become a better performer. I'll get a nice car. Um, I'll figure out a way of, of pursuing this more effective. I'll develop a strategy. I'll get somebody to, women are very interested in status, so I'll get somebody to, to talk to uh, another woman friend who I'm not interested in, to speak well of me to that woman friend so that, the, that she will want me. Or I'll get a guy to speak well of me. Or I'll, you know, and so, he, so they think of all sorts of strategies to get to be able to be accepted and not rejected. So if you are, so whatever is going on in your mind, don't just treat it as what's going on in your mind, treat it as, if, if I had a chance to talk with you about it, almost invariably, a guy, many guys would, 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 would say, yes, that's what I've done at various points in my, in my time or my life to, to handle that situation. And with the women who are here, I'm going to ask you to take, take everybody, um, everybody who has any type of heels on their shoes, to take the heels off of your, uh, to take your shoes off, I'm sorry, not the heels off your shoes. Um, and so the, the, what I'm going to be asking the women to do is to stand on a chair to be taller than the guy and to move into dance position with the guy. But I'll give you instructions about that in a second. 
So I asked all the women with a guy to stand on the chair and have the guy stand on the floor. I stand on the floor. I stand on the floor. Do I have to do it? Oh, look at that. 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 To, to see if you can get one of the two of you to do the dance. I'm going to have you do a traditional dance. So I'm going to ask women to move your left hand out and to be holding the boy's right hand. Yes, out, out to the dance position. So women, you're going to be like this. You're going to be moving your, I'm sorry, I said your left hand. I meant to say, yeah, your left hand out. Women, women, you'll be moving your left hand out like this and holding and holding the boys um, around with your right hand around the waist. So are we are we being male? You're playing the male role, oh, right? Like okay. Oh, that's get back in your place. Get back in the character. Get back in the character. That's a, a very good. And then you, and then the women take your right hand, take your right hand and put it around the boys' waist. Exactly. Very good. Take your right hand. Very good. Excellent. Good. And then. Women, move the boy in as close as he will let you. Guys, do not let them. Keep a, keep a reasonable distance so you, so you don't seem too easy, like a slut. My wife just said, is, is it okay if she takes a picture of this? It's actually being filmed, so. Yes. Your job is to get, uh, is to, um, is to get both of them involved. But yeah. you, you, can, oh. you can do hey, Robert, it Hey, Robert, don't be a slut. So you both have some private time with him, or you can figure it out. So in this, case, in this case, you'll have to do it sequentially. So take, take that out a bit of time. OK, so women. Yeah, I know. I'm going. I don't want to have a ballroom dance. Yes. Is it ballroom dance? It is a type of ballroom dance. Hold for a second. Your job now, women, is part of male's job is to perform. So I would ask you to perform by creating your own music. So you be the creator of the music. And boys, you just dance to the music that the women is cre are creating. And so women just uh, create the music and move them physically um, to the music and try to move them closer to you. Boys, stay close to, but not, don't be, don't be frigid, don't be a slut, just walk that, Walk that sort of line between the two, <laughs> uh, but women, you try, you, women try to get as much as you can. Did you ever do that? Yeah. 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 Maximizing your eyes of adoration. So Wait, you, are you talking, you're saying guys. I'm, I'm talking about the physical guys. Okay. okay. Oh. Yes, one of the things that happens is our roles are so powerful. The moment I ask somebody to change roles, we almost can't do it without changing genders. So I'm going to ask now the guys to, to be minimal. <laughs> To be minimal in the kiss, 
by being maximal in the, uh, the eyes of awe, the eyes of appreciation, so you can get you can get away with being not too, going too far too quickly by giving appreciative looks and not having to be physical with your body. So so do your appreciation and your affection through your eyes and your looking at her like she can't make a mistake, rather than by um, uh, the actual giving your sexuality. So oh, I'm going to ask you to just try that for one minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try to, you're gonna ignore what I'm saying. You're just gonna try to get as far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, get set, go. <laughs> as far as that affirmative consent law is concerned. <laughs> sex goes through. Make a, make a starting assumption that some of the feelings you just went through were feelings that the other gender uh, experiences in, in a heterosexual um, context or a situation. So um, share your insights, whether you were technically not a person. Remember, when you were back here, as the three of you were, you were 100% participating because you were experiencing what every guy who gets left out of the process experiences. And so let me just work this from, a, from the ratio standpoint. From a man's point of view, even if there's more men in a bar, let's say, than there are women, the greater number of men all want, they, they are interested in being sexual that evening. If they are not sexual that evening, from their perspective, there was, there was 14 men and um, 28 women, but if they were only sex, if the only one woman was sexual, 13 men have lost. 13 men have felt rejected on some level. So there is, so when the competition st appears to be in male's favor, when there are more men than there are women, but from the man's perspective, and that is true from the woman's perspective, but from the man's perspective, if sex is a very powerful driver that evening, um, he feels he's lost and been rejected if he isn't sexual that evening. And so, uh, so from that perspective, just how did some of the women who were uh, left out or you know, didn't have a chance to get somebody, how did you feel? Maybe Jennifer, can you start out? Well, you know, the Canadian dollar is not doing so good. Um, <laughs> well, no, the, the undervalued, just the, you know, like, you know, you know what I got. Don't you know what I have to offer? He really didn't listen long enough. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, but the feeling of like, of like, you're spinning your wheels. It's like, well, here's trick one. Here's trick two. Here's trick three. Like, are you stupid? Are you not you? But like, are you stupid? Are you clueless? Are you a tool? Like, can't you keep up? Like, hello, I'm right in your face. And then the, yeah, but I got my choice already. It's like, I just threw my options out and let him decide. So I'm like, you can take my date or not. And she was pretty, pretty aggressive. Yeah, but she had ice cream. Ice cream and gay So, you know, you win. But, but that thing that and I, 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 I offered out my husband, okay? Like, oh, I thought that was pretty good. But You offered him your husband. Hey, I did. Mean, <laughs> Right of like 
what else do I have that would be valuable enough to offer in this instance to climb over somebody else? So not something minuscule, something that because somebody else's attention has already been focused, that the thing that I have to think of has to be bigger than, has to be brighter, has to be louder, and then you realize just defeat. And it's like, oh, wow, well, somebody's getting something more. I hope you have fun with them. Jennifer, did you approach first or second? Uh, she got in her gay porn and her ice cream yeah. before I did. Yeah. 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 Maybe as for our one, there is some. There's always some. Yes. Okay, so the picking order. You're being very supportive now. So. Yes. It's okay. You had a reason for it. I'm not saying that if I were second, I wouldn't still. But <laughs> I, already, I already emailed my husband that I'm not good at flirting with four strangers. <laughs> okay, so Jennifer, if you're teaching this in a class, in yes. a sex ed class, yes. get in touch with some of the feelings you just got in touch with yes. and assume that some of those are, did some of the things that Jennifer say, did they ring true for what we experienced as guys? Yes. Spinning your wheels. Spinning your wheels, exaggerating. All I, I, I tried everything I could, <laughs> but I still isn't, isn't working. I even overextended myself at times. I took liberties oh, yes. mentioning things that maybe I shouldn't have mentioned, but my husband would suck it up. because. Okay, good. watch <laughs> this. I took liberties mentioning things that otherwise I shouldn't have mentioned. How many of us have ever done that? I just the situation is that. tough. We, Why did we, we do that. <laughs> and so, the... I don't, I don't know many heterosexual guys that haven't exaggerated, yeah. that haven't um, sort of, you know, sort of twisted the truth, omitted what they didn't want to do. Yes. Of course, women do this too through things like makeup. They, <coughs> you know, we both, but both. The point is here is that both sexes have makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, men, uh, men's makeup is. I'm Dr. Warren Carroll, best-selling author of. So, doctors' makeup, best-selling is makeup. Mm -hmm. Even authors, to some degree, makeup. That's all makeup. Uh, it's not, I and me, let's you and me talk, let's get to know each other, just feel, you know, what's, what's, what's my integrity, what's my character, what's my values, that type of thing. It's, I, I want you to know a fair amount very quickly so that I minimize my potential for rejection. And so if I'm in a situation where I have some hope, as Jennifer did, but it, she, but it wasn't quite working, there's the, the temptation is to overextend, to to mention more than to promise what you can't deliver uh, because you're so desperate for the acceptance. For women, it may be plastic surgery or it may be, you know, um, or, or, or sort of wearing a dress that's too short, wearing a dress that's too low, you know, or not too low, but you, you, yeah. cal you Never calculate. Eating again. What's that? Never, Never eating, eating again. again. Yes. You calculate what will give you the maximum of re acceptance and the minimum of rejection within the framework of the type of group. For people you want to attract, and that's um, so. Um, so, so Jennifer, to share more because this is everything you said is so valuable for a sex education class on these issues. Um, I think. I think the other thing that was interesting was that when I first started talking to you, um, I was approaching you as like a, just a whole person. But the more that I talked to you, the more that I was imploring to your what I thought were your needs, like. I don't know, just, I'm just gonna work on the sex angle. I'm not gonna go with the, you know, let's go back to Canada, let's have fun where it's freedom and everything. It's like, let me give you my husband, I'll be snapping him with a good sandwich. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I went for the sex route, I went for like the thing that's like that primal need as opposed to like the intellectual or the thing that built camaraderie. Mm -hmm. uh, I went for the thing that was a little bit more uh, edgy, a little bit more crass perhaps, yes. and something that extended my boundaries past what it normally would have been at, but the reason why it was acceptable was because it was, I was in competition. Mm -hmm. And in competition, somebody always has to be first and somebody always has to lose. So then the way to fight for you is to fight on top because one of us is gonna go down and it's not gonna be me, right? Like that was the, that was the mentality, so. But I won. Yes, you did. Yes, <laughs> Just to make yes, clear. I won the yeah. <laughs> I didn't, it really wasn't about you as a person anymore. It was more about, well, if he doesn't want this part, what do I have that I could offer him that he would just choose me so that this process can be over and I can get what I want? Yes, which very is good. To win. Let's stop there for a second. 
So Jennifer is not talking about Robert wanting her as a human being. She's calculating the process of what she can offer. She's learned from Sadie that the gay porn and the ice cream really works. So that goes in the brain as that worked. Next time I may use that under certain circumstances. But Sadie was not accepted for who she was. She was accepted for her ability to think of the gay porn and the ice cream. Or maybe she was accepted for who, for who she was. We'll never know. She'll never know. The more a man has to offer, the less he knows about whether he's loved for what he is or what he has to offer. Wow. If I approach you and I say, you know, I know you're interested in Canada and Montreal is great, but you've never been to Paris. And so I realized there's something I can offer you, a trip to Paris. Oh, but you, you have to say maybe oh, we need to stay in separate rooms. Okay, separate rooms. You need a nice hotel, a nice hotel. So, uh, uh, so I'm beginning maybe. to offer. So the more I make it tempting for her to join me, the less I know whether she's interested in me at all. Hmm. You know, or, the, or whether the trip. So if you, you know, offer a woman a trip to the, the prom, um, the guy never knows whether she wanted just to go to the prom or whether, or whether he, she was really interested in him. So the woman may be open to being sexual, and the more he has to offer, the less the man knows about whether she's responding sexually in prostitute mode, every kiss begins with K, or whether she's responding sexually in another mode. And if she's brought up in a very tough rigid environment, her willingness to be sexual may signal to her parents, if they get a wind of this, that she should move more deeply in the relationship than she is comfortable with doing, and she begins to feel pressure both from her internal self, because our internal self absorbs our external values, it becomes part of us, and we start making decisions that we didn't want to make because we were willing to take that offer of the trip to Paris um, with all the safety measures built in, and, but, uh, but in the process, we began to compromise ourselves. And so the, what we call male power, having the ability to offer the trip to Paris, having the ability to pay the money, pursuing, extending oneself, seeming to be the big, uh, being the answer is actually compensation for powerlessness that doesn't give us a lot of satisfaction because we never know whether we're loved for who we are. Now, is this exclusive to men? Of course not. No. Women have the reverse role, particularly around looks. When a woman is really beautiful, she's not sure whether the man ever sees her, who she is, what her values are, what her integrity is. Because at the beginning, men don't see those things. They just respond to the physical beauty. And, but the trick is, in culture, is that, we, that, that while men are responding to the physical beauty and they want sex, is that men, in many respects, want intimacy more than women do. That's quite a statement. Intimacy of any kind? Or real, no, I'm not talking about sexual intimacy now. I'm talking about real intimacy. And here's why. Men's primary fantasy is access to a variety of attractive women. So pornography fulfills part of his fantasy. And ideally, pornography is even better because it's access to a variety of attractive women without fear of rejection at a price he can afford. <laughs> if you will, that's pornography, basically. And so pornography is part of the male fantasy. But what gets left out for men is if, if I break up and you're my best friend and I come to you and talk to you about it, I feel like, you know, you, you maybe listen to me for three or four minutes, and then you'll sort of glaze over and we'll move on to something else and talk about you know, that type of thing. That's the typical response of a male talking to another male about a breakover or a little bit of fix it.